Uh, today I thought I'd show everyone how to make a pulse or heart beat kind of signature for forums. Uh, the first thing you need to do is you need to go to files, then new. Uh, most forums kind of don't let you have a bigger signature than 450 and 150, so I'll just go with that. It'll come up like this. Okay, that's... Uh, that was weird. Just make that white. Um, okay, so first you need to go to filters. Then you need to go to render, clouds, solid noise. De your detail should be 2. You need randomize on and you can just use these. I don't care, you can choose any. Go up right there. Sorry. I like using that. Uh, once you've done that, you need to go and you need to make a new f uh, layer with this page kind of thing. Press OK. And when you're here, you just need to go filters, repeat solid noise or control F. Um, and then you just need to go here and you can just go difference and it'll come up like this. Then you can do control M and you can just merge and it'll come up like that. Uh, once you've done that, you, you, you can go to colors, colorize, and then you can do anything. You can make it blue. Uh, I'm probably going to go with the red, seeing we're doing a heartbeat-ish kind of thing. Maybe a bit like that. Yeah, something, something like that. It may, look, it may not look completely red with my record, except that's definitely red for me. Yeah, once you've done that, you can just go like that, and you then... You can add some text. Uh, I'm going to be using Neuropol. It's like this alienish kind of text. Uh, and then you can, because uh, it's darkish red, I'll use this color and I'll use this color. Yeah, so you just go in and then you put it in. And I'll just be doing. I'll just do that. Then you can go and you can go make it bigger. I'll probably do 33. No, I'll do 35. Uh, once you've done that, if you want to get it exactly perfect, you can go to this alignment tool and you can click on it and then you can go align middle of target and then align center of target and then you're exactly in the right place. Uh, yeah, once you've done that, you can go and you can merge these two. Oh no, you're not done yet. Once you've done that, you can duplicate this layer, or you can just press that. Then you go here, and you can go alpha to selection. And then with this one, you go switch it, and you go edit, stroke, selection. It's only a very thin writing, so you only need to do line width 1. Once you've done that, you can go select, none, and then you've got this writing kind of thing. Yeah, once you've done that, you can go control M and you can just merge it all together. Um, and yeah, so after that, you just need to go and you need to create four different uh, duplicates of this. One, two, three, four. Then you need to hide to fir the first two and select the middle one. And you need to go into filters, blur, motion blur. And then you go, yeah, zoom. And then you probably want to put it on 50. And then click OK. It'll come out like that. And then this one. The next one you go filters, blur. Whoops, wrong blur. Uh, yeah, you just need to go fil filters, blur, and then motion blur again. And then this time you can do 75. Or whatever you you can do, you can play around with those. Um, yeah, once you've done that, you can go to the last one and go filters, blur, motion blur. Uh, you can either make it 85 or 90. I'll go 87. Um, you can actually put in more slides to make it more long, longer, and stuff like that. Then you can unhide these, and you're basically done. All you need to do is go into you can just go yeah all you need to do is go into filters animation just to make sure you got it right and then playback and it'll come up here and you'll see if you got it right you just press play and it'll turn out like this looks kind of like a heart heartbeat pulse 
You can make a blue, you can make a green, I think, you can do whatever. Um, yeah, and then you just save it and you're done.